You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. It's the Davy Mac Sports Program. Everyone's hearing you. Frazier! A spectacular move by Michael Jordan! In your life did you see anything like that? Wide right! Little roller up along the Uh-oh. Behind oh, here he is. In the end zone. It's the Davy Max Sports Program. Come on, we're harmonizing. <laughs> this was such a bad idea. Want the show in general? Uh, on Riotcast.com. Oh, Riotcast, we love it. Here's your host, Dave McDonald. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, we're feeling good tonight. Yeah? We're like the Everly Brothers of announcers, oh, Pepper. You, you, you just settle down, Stoney. Right. Roy's high, huh? Uh, I'm just going to guess that. He may or may not be. <laughs> I, don't wanna, wagon. I don't want to say what happened in the stairwell before the show. He burned one down? But there was some burning of things, and, it, <laughs> and they were going down. Yes. Yes. I did not partake. I wanted to sit and observe... And uh, it's going to be a clusterfuck tonight. You like to be sober. That's right. Eastside Dave's my name, yeah. Davey Mack. Sober. They call me the sports master. 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 He's the one that we smoke after. Okay. With me, as always, to my left, they call him Chris Pepper Stanley. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. I'm here. I made it. You look great, man. Also with us on the old buttons and the microphones and the headphones, Sean O'Barry! Sean O. Sean. And the man who's won all the Emmys and plays the keyboard, rocks the ganja, Roy Schaefer! Newly unsober, Roy Schaefer. Yes, sir. Also sitting in with us tonight, the sports therapist. And, of course, Eric Z. Who is documenting all of this on film, Pepper? On film. Great. Did you have a nice vacation, Peppy oh, Hamburger? Labor Day is amazing. I huh? loved it, huh? I went to Disney World myself. and uh, By yourself? Yeah, by myself. It yeah, was that's awesome. Pedophile, that's pedophile, babe. Yeah, well, I am. I am one. Don't didn't say you know that? Don't say it's bad. No, I'm not. Say. I'm just kidding, of course. And uh, did you know that in Disney World, everyone's supposed to, like, all the employees from the guy who uh, picks up garbage to the guy who sells you soda, they all uh, are mandated to be as nice as possible. Chipper. Yeah, they'll get fired. Chipper, it's otherwise they get fired. I was waiting for my bus just yesterday, and the bellhop was a 65-year-old guy named Herbie. Oh, okay. And he goes, uh, he goes, because um, the uh, bus you take to and from the airport is called the Disney Magical Express. And he goes, let me tell you something, Red. He said, <laughs> Glad you're Red. when you... Come from the airport to Disney World. It's the Disney Magical Express. Okay. When you leave Disney World and go back to the airport, it's the Disney Tragical Express. <laughs> what? I don't know what kind of stand-up material he was trying out on me, but for some reason I fell for it and overlaughed at his bad joke, <laughs> at which point he then showed me a picture of his pit bull. <laughs> and he goes, look at my dog. But by the way, I, I do like Uh-oh. how Southern people say dog. I realize I say it very much like a New Jersey, and I say dog. He goes, look at my dog. Dog? He goes, uh, this is a little pit bull. He goes, uh, we had a peeping Tom problem the other day, and, well, I sucked my pit bull on him, my dog, and the guy tried to fight him off, so I pointed my gun at the guy's head and said, leave my dog alone. I think that guy was the peeping Tom. I think that's the problem. I was just like, Herbie, I don't think you're going, you're following the Disney World employee Her- orders. Herbie, you're making Walt Disney I, feel look bad right this now. Is, you're, you're, this is like 13 infractions. Yeah. This is not chipper. Uh, you could just tell this guy was old enough that he was like, I could give a fuck if I get fired <laughs> by Disney World. Look at me, dog. He'll just go back to robbing pharmacies tomorrow. Yeah, right. <laughs> Herbie, 
But I'm not complaining. I find him to be highly entertaining. Oh, he's listening. In case Disney World's listening. No, because Disney World has fucking little spies everywhere. Oh. I demand Herbie to keep his job. I like seeing his pit bull, who has eaten apparently three peeping toms <laughs> in his little house in Georgia. He goes, and then he goes on a deep level. He goes, my son, I haven't seen him in a year. Oh he God. finally moves down here. Jesus, Herbie. And then How old is he's only working for two months. He's like, son, he's like 30, 35. Sure. And he goes, uh, and they transferred him back to Minnesota. <laughs> Broke my goddamn heart. Here's a picture of my other dog, Rocky. I thought you'd show a picture of your son. He just kept showing pictures of dogs that he had. <laughs> so I, at, at that point, I was like, I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to come back to the Northeast. And then what happens is you get into reality and you think even like the people at the airport in Orlando are going to be, you know, Disney-fied. No, no, no. And no. they're dicks. They're and airport like, workers. Yeah, it's like, a terrible job. What hap- they live and in Florida. What happened to the cool vibe? It's, it's, it really brainwashes you, you know? But I loved it. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, yeah ride the uh, Seven Dwarfs mine train. Mm. I was just <laughs> fucking going nuts, <laughs> man. That's kind of hot. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> sexy as shit. Seven Dwarfs. Right, Roy? That's right. Right, Shafer oh. Bakey? Huh? Do I have to call you Shafer Floyd from now on? Is that what we got to do? That's baby. Huh? What were you doing that stairwell? Uh, no, what were you doing? Just hanging out. What were you doing? Were you doing the Sean Barry diet? What? The show pro. <laughs> were you show? smoking that weed? Pot. Show pro. Is that what you were doing? Of smoking that herb? Not. I don't think you were either. No. Uh, why are you wearing sunglasses tonight, <laughs> Shafe? He always wears. Yeah? yeah? Does he? No, he doesn't. Every week. He is, he, is it because you're getting high these days? Well, I'm not wearing a hat, so maybe, <laughs> maybe I am up to something, right? Uh, so anyway, Wes Welker. Uh, speaking of getting high. Speaking of diets, he's doing the pepper diet. He's on Molly now. Wes Welker. <laughs> Yeah, last night it got it came out breaking news. Wes Welker suspended first four games of the season. Won't be back till week six or five because we they, heard they're, that, on, they're on by. But originally it was amphetamines, which I'm like, okay, I guess I could see that. You, know, you got you got to get through training camp somehow. It's it's murder on these football players, especially the seasoned vets. They don't want to be doing it. But then it's Molly. Isn't that uh, the drug that the kids and the rave and the glow it's sticks? Ecstasy. It's ecstasy, but yeah. it's it's many times it's cut with other things. So they're saying that the theory now is now listen. I watched the wire, but I don't know, know all the parliaments. What does cut the, mean? What the does that mean? Parliaments? Are we in Britain? <laughs> what is oh, they, they cut shit. mean? What does cut mean? What does that it mean? It's not the pure drug. They throw other drugs in there. You know, why they do that? Just to enhance it to make more drugs, ah. to make more weight, to sell more drug. You know a lot about this process, huh, Breaking Bad? Is that you? Are you fucking getting into the drug game, too? Yeah. <laughs> no. Right? I Thanks, just, right? I just Thanks did. for that late stinger. <laughs> I'm just sort of thinking. <laughs> he did just win an Emmy. Huh? Who? Pepper. Oh, yeah, did, good yeah, for right? Oh, sound wait. design. By the way, they <laughs> shut out Game of Thrones? They what shut out my man, Pete Dinklage? Hmm. What do you mean they shot him out? They shut out <laughs> Game of Thrones was win. the show of cannon. the year. Game of Thrones. How about we stay on, stay on topic? For okay. Sports show West, West Welker. Welker. Huh? Uh, doing right, so Molly. They say he was he did some Molly at the Kentucky Derby, and the Molly was laced with amphetamines, uh-huh. and this just came down that he's suspended for four games. Now he's today he put out a statement saying, "I think I was roofied. I think someone <laughs> just I think someone just slipped it into my drink." But it's not a performance enhancing drug. It's just a it's a party drug. No, I, I noticed that. And by the way, the uh, Yes Network said Wes Welker suspended for PEDs. And I'm like, I don't think no, Molly is a no, PED. No. Pretty no. sure it's not, right? Anything? No, it's, it's, if you want to enhance your time at a fish show, yes. <laughs> yeah. But what if you took it right before a game? Huh? No, it wouldn't help <laughs> you. Just saying. He's saying it's not going to help you. Okay, pot brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got I, the I, fucking I, cast of Days of Confuse over here Chichi tonight. Chong over here. I ate of a, all the Pete Pepper's, the one who's not high. <laughs> That's the odd <laughs> goddamn twist on this. I ate a bunch of Molly before watching the Super Bowl, and I couldn't handle it. I, mean, <laughs> I, I know. Was, I was whacked. <laughs> So I out playing? No, you don't want to take Molly before that's, you play football. That's when you got the nickname Blackout Squared because he blacked out during the blackout. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. It's meta. <laughs> what Super Bowl was that? That was two years ago, right? Two. That was, that 49ers, was a, that was Ravens. Hardball ball. Yeah. Ball. I got fucking blacked out for the Super Bowl this year after Peyton Manning threw that first interception. I'm like, this game is fucking over. Time and everyone's hard. like, oh, come on. You're just being funny guy. No, I'm like, no, it's over. It's over. I could see it instantly. There was an old man wearing a Broncos uniform and a young group of kids who were going to kill him. And they called just, the CLC Hawks. They destroyed every receiver. It was just a beatdown. You know, when's the next Super Bowl? That's usually February, pal. <laughs> but thanks for the question. I thought they'd do it every four years. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> fuck. Anyway, Pep. Um, 
What about disrespect for Russell Wilson? The uh, Sports Illustrated came out, the annual uh, football preview special. Stafford. Of and uh, it was, no, it was uh, Drew Brees and Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, who's a choke artist, and Drew Brees, who has won a Super Bowl, but there's not multiple, in like five there's years. There's multiple covers for, this, for this, uh, this month's SI. The one I bought in Orlando, Florida, when Herbie gave me the goddamn directions, had Matt Ryan and Drew Brees. You, are you watching, or did you watch the Hard Knocks? No, with, it, uh, it bored me. I, it was I, not I, great I year. I could care less about the Atlanta Falcons. Matt Ryan's a boring dude. Matt Ryan, I know he's not a redneck, but he looks like a dumb redneck. Uh, I, I don't know if it's that. that he just, I just, uh, just look, When I look at his face. He has a tight-ass type of demeanor. He's, his posture is too good <laughs> for my taste. He's a very long neck. Uh, yeah. I'm not Ryan. <laughs> well, I'm not Ryan. How are you? It's bad posture. Isn't that a great impression? <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Well, remember, for, remember for three seasons, he was supposed to be the next big thing? He was supposed to be. He was supposed to be. Matty Ice. Yeah, Matty Ice. Matty Ice. Well, you're going to be the next Drew Brees, sir. He got to the NFC Championship last year. Are you not going to give him any credit for that? No. He, was he, that two years ago? I don't fuck it. Yeah, it you're two right. Years it ago. was two years ago. Yeah, the the uh, Falcons were awful last they year. They fell off the map last year. Yeah, well, he lost Roddy White and Julio Jones. They and sucked the line. dick yeah, last year. Their line went down on other men. Yeah, that's right, Roy. Sports therapist. Did you join them? Did you join Sean O'Barry and Roy Schaefer for whatever was going on in the stairwell? No. No? Are you lying right now? No. Are you lying to the Dave man? Just, microphone's never <laughs> Just lean in. She's lying. And Eric, did you... You're <laughs> Eric said no. That's what illegal. the hell happened here before I got here. Was it just a big old pop party? Yeah, it was. David Mack was like, "You motherfuckers, look at you, mm -hmm. look at you people." Actually, I was encouraging it. I want Roy to smoke more. <laughs> Roy, he's, how he's are you? He's kidding. He's kidding. How are you, pal? I'm <laughs> joking, good, of course. I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel good. How was Labor Day, buddy? I did a lot of nice things. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It's great. It's great you did nice things. I did lots of nice things. <laughs> like what? <laughs> look, he can't even get it out, dude. You're a train wreck. What did you do on Labor Day? And his hair's kind of growing Have out. Have a conversation. Like, that's the thickest I've seen his hair in a long time. <laughs> I know. What the hell? You got a fucking uh, barbecues weird... Barbecues and stuff. Barbecues. You got like a Braveheart look to you right now. <laughs> he needs some fucking blue paint on you. What did you do? You went I to the barber? I went no, bar <laughs> well, I didn't barbecue. Hear. I, I did a oh, barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. That's what you do on Labor Day. Right? Everything, everything is a barbecue these days. That used yeah. to be just reserved for July 4th. Mm. And now you have this thing. Memorial Day is a barbecue yeah, and Labor, Labor Day is a barbecue. Come that's on! Just, that's two, that's two, two or three days out of the year. Stop it with the barbecue, man! I know. July 4th. Come on, man. You just got jacked up. I've been trying so hard. To get on the ESPN, I've been hashtagging uh, a lot of my tweets with "Come on, man," but Chris Berman has not read my tweets yet. Well, at least the person managing his Twitter account. Has. I don't know why Chris Berman wouldn't uh, read a thing on the air like Chris Berman likes to fuck kids. Come on, man! <laughs> it's a good way to endear us to. Um, hey, the guy fucking grabbed my neck at the Giant Super Bowl. You, don't you forget? You accosted him. I did. People don't You're know. Lucky I, you I was at the Giants. You. I was actually at the Giants. Uh, Second Giants Patriots Super Bowl, Ow. and I saw Chris Berman walking through the goddamn thing after the Giants won, and I literally did grab his neck and to take a fucking <laughs> selfie. It made dead spin, and he goes, "Get your fucking hands off me!" <laughs> and it made dead spin. He goes, "Some guy named Eastside Dave. You know who I am, dead spin. I talked to Drew McGarry once." No, the guy who posted that got fired like the next day. <laughs> Any connection with the Davy Mac Sports Program, people usually get fired. That's yeah. the deal. It's sad. No. Charnel's going to be fired from Skinny Man tomorrow. All right. It's been a good run. At which point, Pepper actually is taking over oh. for Charnel. Do you know how to work Pro Tools? Yeah, it'll be great. You do? Yeah. I can't fucking you, work that are shit. Are you good with people? I'm awesome with people. <laughs> Charnel Barry, you're terrible with people. What are you kidding me? It's true. No, That's Sean's good with people. He is? Yeah, he's good with people. He is? Who's I know more, you're who's Roy more antisocial. Roy's good with people. I know that I'm for a, a fact. Person, yeah. Um, I'd say we're both equally people. People. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it hang there for a while. I'm gonna let the fucking pot muppets just chillax. This is a real group of weirdos. <laughs> all of us included. All of um, us. We're just all whacked. So Wes Welker. Uh, so you think? Uh, well, he does plan to appeal, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna appeal, but I can't. I don't see him not. I mean. 
It took him how long did it take him for Josh Brown to be able to go through? Yeah, it? once you have that, uh, the, Josh they, Brown they've now for the year. confirmed that uh, you know you you've, you've you have drugs in your system. I don't know how you can appeal that. You can't then just say, "Well, I'll now take a piss test well, and gonna, I'll pass it." Well, of course you will. You're not doing gonna, drugs. I right think now. he's gonna, he's going to appeal. It's, he's not going to win, but he's going to say, "Yeah, I was I was roofied. You know, I, someone gave me the drugs without me knowing." The fucking guy roofied himself. I saw him. I saw he his, was giving out money. At I the saw derby. Yeah, I saw his crazy eyes at the, the uh, Kentucky Derby. The fucking outfit that he was wearing, the pimp. He looked like goddamn Harvey Keitel, I the taxi his, driver. I liked his look. What the <laughs> shit was that? You have a hat, too? He just needed yeah, yeah, long black hair. <laughs> yeah. He looked great. Remember, he's uh, talking to uh, De Niro, and he thinks yeah. De Niro's a cop. I'm like, you think De Niro's a cop? The fucking guy with the mohawk wearing the army jacket who clearly wants to assassinate the governor or whoever the hell he is? You a cop? Huh? You a cop? Oh, man, I might have to go home and watch Taxi Driver tonight. Well, about 15 times in a row for the next two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get obsessed with things. Kind of like autism. Yeah. I think I'm autistic a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm really good at counting toothpicks. I'll say. I real. I mean, forget it. You drop some toothpicks on the ground, bam, 152 toothpicks. Boom. Forget it, man. Yeah, Dave, the thing is Dave you... how many? How many sticks? How many sticks? Two. Whoa. But what? what? Come on, Royce, play a little music since you're all fucking potted up. Like some fucking you like that weed, kid Roy? from Woodstock. All right, what do you want to do? And by the way, I, I only uh, speak of Woodstock 3, the good one from oh, 1999. Yeah, that's the, the Limp Biscuit one. one. Yeah. Where, you know, they, chili peppers, bro. Yeah, everyone. The, bulb, the, the, the place uh, uh, erupted into fire and they then all the women got raped. <laughs> it was a rape gang. Yeah. The crowd was a rape, rape gang. stock. And in. The love you make is equal to the love you take. The Beatles. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Make, 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 make. Yeah! All right, all right! Hey, TrueCar.com. TrueCar.com is changing car buying forever. That's right. Every day, TrueCar users receive negotiation-free guaranteed savings. Some features not available in all states. In the first six months of this year, over 275,000 cars were sold by the TrueCar Certified Dealer Network, Pepper. True car users save an average of $3,221 off MSRP. What? When you're ready to buy a car, just follow these three Not easy that. steps. First, go to TrueCar.com True and, fi car. True car. and find out what people pay for the car you're looking for. Then, register at TrueCar.com to see upfront pricing information and lock True in your car. savings. Third, the third Swunk. step is simple. Slam! Just print out your True Swing. Car savings. Swap! Print out that certificate. True car! And take true it to the car. True Car Certified Dealer. True for Car! A better, hassle free car buying experience. Oh, Adam West was in True Car! Remember, everyday True Car users receive negotiation free guaranteed savings. Guaranteed! Save time, save money, and never overpay. Visit TrueCar.com today. That's TrueCar.com. Yes, sir! They like it when you talk over the live read and they can't understand it. No, no, no. What I'm doing is giving uh, subliminal things. Go to True Car, True Car, True Car. I'm punching True Car. You got that? Dave. That's what the Dave man does. One he day. thinks of his sponsors. Thing after. <sighs> uh, the Cowboys, they picked up uh, Michael Sam and uh, they're going to put him on the team. Did you they just told him, don't suck anyone's dicks. No, I'm just kidding, of course. Michael Sam is the. Well, they encouraged uh, him to. Gay gentleman. And. Uh, so now people can say the Tony Homo insult, but now they can also, you know, use that insult for Michael Sam, I guess. I don't know. He's on the practice team. He's not on the actual Cowboys. He's on some fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, he made the practice squad. Rinky dink practice squad. I could make the practice squad. Well, the squad. Cowboys have no D, so I guess it's an okay move. But did you also see that Jerry Jones said that he'll forever regret not drafting Johnny Football? <laughs> Why? When did he say this? He said this, I think, for time, I think. Or <laughs> Sports Illustrated. But yeah, he went on going on saying, 
I'll never forgive myself. I, I, I'll i always regret this for the rest of my life that I didn't draft Giant football. Wow. And I, and I can't believe I listened to everyone around me this, who said, don't draft Giant Does football. Does he realize he's insulting the quarterback who he gave a huge contract yeah, to? Yeah, that's what the people... That's a couple what years the, ago. The coach and his son said to him, we just gave a giant contract yeah, to Tony Romo. You just gave it to Tony Romo. What... Uh, you're How would that possibly work? You're going to destroy everything around you if you pick up Johnny Football. They, they should get rid of so, Tony Romo anyway. He's picking up Sucks. Michael Sab just as a consolation prize. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I hope the guy makes it. Uh, I'm all for a little diversity and whatnot. It'd be fun to have a, a gay guy in the uh, NFL there. Fun. Why not? Right, Pep? Yeah. You're not, you're not homophobic, are you? No, I am not at because all. Because you weren't agreeing with me. I had to kind of prompt you. So, well, are you a homophobic? I don't know if it would be. I don't know what you mean by saying it would be fun to have a gay guy in the league. That sounds just crazy. <laughs> but if he was good enough to play in the NFL, yes, he should play in the NFL. That's what I was saying. No, if you this, said it'd be fun to have a gay guy in the league. <laughs> if this gay guy can can hack it in professional foot, you know, what heterosexual this, if, NFL if this football, this guy could hack it. How about that, man? Listen, 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 listen. I'm cool with the gay community. You know this. I, uh, well, you come on to me every I, episode. I am a gay person. Yeah, I know you are. You're gay. I mean, not right now, <laughs> but for money? Fuck yeah. I'll go to 53rd and 3rd and fucking jack you off for seven bucks. <laughs> you want to do that? No. After the show today? No, I don't. Just give me the seven bucks then, at least. No, I don't even have seven bucks. Buy me a hot dog. I'll jack you off. I don't want to be mad. Forget about the $7. Was that too high? Was that too high of a price? <laughs> You're pricing yourself out. Buy me a pack of Skittles. Uh, this is jack off competition. <laughs> um, now, you don't watch uh, the uh, U.S. Open anymore. Uh, I, I haven't watched it this year, no. Why are you getting so pissed off? Oh, it's watch those good. headphones. Those I've been watching it. are expensive. Because you used to be the tennis expert. You've just turned your back on an entire sport. I just didn't watch one tournament. Get off! You want you get off my? You had you didn't watch <laughs> Wimbledon or the French Open either. I watched the French Open. It's always on weird times. I like it. Um, Andy Murray uh, is playing uh, Novak Djokovic tonight, so that's a good match. Djokovic should have. This. And I mean, my opinion, Andy Murray needs to win just to take his name back from the Bachelorette, who if once what? she gets married, the the Bachelorette is a chick whose name is Andy, and the guy she chose. His last name is Murray. So once she marries him, she'll be Andy Murray. And quite frankly, until this Andy Murray wins, she'll be the more famous Andy Murray. And he, he, can't, he, he can't be having that. That's a chick. It's a girl. Yeah. That's weird. Boy, was I let down by Andy Murray. Why? The Bachelorette. The ba Andy uh, why Murray. Why The Bachelor or The Bachelorette come up? Everybody I was so out. disappointed with her choice of the baseball player over the nice guy from Milwaukee. What are you fucking doing, Andy? He's into you. This baseball player just wants TV time, bitch. Did both those guys bang her? They both fucked her in the in the fantasy suite <laughs> the night before her proposal. That's a true story. Well, then we guess we know why she's picking the baseball. Player. Because you know why? In the Bachelorette, you know, recap show immediately after. It's called After the Rose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> after they uh, have the season uh, finale, they get all the people to talk about it, and the, the guy goes, "I don't understand, Andy. What went wrong? I mean, if you didn't like me." Why'd we fuck in the fantasy suite? <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> okay, uh, you know, we don't need it. I was like, yeah, bro. Out this chick. I guess that guy's whack. Out her. He's whack. I'd be saying the same thing. No, no, I'm saying he didn't please her sexually. Yeah, small dick, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how big? Come on. Tell, tell the audience how big Pepper is right I'm now. How big is little Pepper? Penis. But huh? Wide, wide or... Long. Not talking he about has it. the widest <laughs> dick you've ever seen. You, it's fuck. It's as big as a fucking plank of wood. You really are gay. This guy, when he gets an erection, pirates put little people on to walk it off into the ocean. Uncomfortable. He's got a fucking plank dick. Weird. It's big and thick. Me, I fucking get four and a quarter, dog. Four and a quarter, hard You're as insane. rocks. You, I. What the hell does this have to do with anything? Why are you, you should, talking your penis? Why down? are you getting mad that I just said that to the audience? I have a small dick and you have a big one. Why would why would you be protesting this? I'm just worried about your brain. You should be. The brain's gone, bro. I got this fucking Disney World you thing. You should be working with Herbie. <laughs> Herbie, yeah. I got these bags this time. Yeah. I have no pit bull uh, pictures on my fucking phone, but I got the bags, okay, Herb? Here's a picture of Roy. My dog. <laughs> Anyway, we got a peeping Tom problem down in Georgia. I'm just trying to get back to New York. And so. my, I never, he said, I never worry about the missus being home by herself because I got my pit bulls, Rocky and Tuntis there. 
Toons is the cat from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I think that was the name of his other pit bull. <laughs> and then he goes, Toons and I, like cat. Yeah. and I also got Pitbull the rapper. You know, because I love that song. I love that song. Aimbadida, aimbadida. Hey. Oh no. Every that's every Pitbull song. You don't need to know it. Let me tell you how every single Pitbull song goes. Aimbadida, aimbadida. Ho. That guy's everywhere. You know, I watch American Idol. He makes like five appearances on the show. He's on the show more than Harry Connick Jr. these days. What? What? You still just watch The Bachelor and American Idol? Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> I got to be paying attention to Big Brother, too. That was my only problem with going to Disney World was I missed three episodes of Big Brother. Next thing I know, the fucking, uh, oh, I want to spoil it. Well, I will now. Donnie got ev evicted this what? past week. Yeah. Which one's Donnie? The guy with the beard. Big uh, beard. He was, he was America's sweetheart. He was kind as, uh, as Eric Z, our, our cinematographer. Anyone bang each other on this season of uh, Bachelor? <sighs> I mean, uh... Big brother. Beast Mode Cowboy wanted to bang this chick called Amber, um, but she thought he was a stalker, and they never consummated any banging. No, there's, there's really, there's, I don't think, oh, uh, Hayden and Nicole. Do these names mean anything to you? <laughs> Why did you ask then? Why would you ask? If you don't I, want Big Brother X's and O's. I know who Beast Mode is. Beast Mode Cowboy, Pep. And then there is the guy who's like the brother of the famous girl. Still yeah, there? Frankie. Frankie is, uh, he also got signed by the Dallas Cowboys. He's a gay man who uh, was a uh, dance choreographer, and he's actually Ariana Grande's brother, and, which is just totally unfair. I mean, he's, he looks like he comes from a well-to-do family in general, and then he's got his sister who is a multi. He doesn't need 500 k What is this? Wow, it's $500,000? Yeah. That was 250 To win, bruh? You see naked pictures of Ariana Grande? Did I? <laughs> I saw all kinds of pictures. And by the way, it was my jizz on Kate Upton's back. What? What? I don't think that was Kate Upton's back. I think it was some other skeezer that Verlander's back. Well, we could tie this into sports. Yeah, Verlander's yeah, Verlander. phone got hacked. <laughs> yeah, uh, so a bunch of celebrities. Maybe that's why he's having such a shitty year. He knew this, uh, this little uh, thing was impending. Uh, so a bunch of celebrities' phones got hacked. And one of them was Justin Verlander, who dates Kate Upton. And Used to. Used to, and Broke then uh, they uh, released a bunch of naked pictures of <clears throat> Kate Upton and a bunch of other random broads that Verlander I'm going to supposedly slept with. Maybe Who knows? I don't know what the problem is. Like and why Verlander's he, penis? You know these. Uh, the, everyone's just got to get over. I mean, nude pictures. I mean, come on. In the year 2014, with hardcore porn for free, on pictures don't do it for people anymore. Yeah, but as, as stars is ridiculously. Popular. I Kate need Upton to see Jennifer Lawrence. That's a big deal. I like to see like uh, my thing these days is what's called a gang bang, and I like seeing With no women, nine whites and nine blacks because I believe in racial harmony. Fucking some blonde idiot crying, her makeup running down her face. Why do you hate women so much? I love women. But you just said you want you like seeing a crying I like, woman. I, I enjoy seeing them gang -bang. get gang banged. Is that is that wrong? Sports therapist, what do you think about that? I feel like you've said this before on the air. <laughs> oh, I he definitely have it. has. I have it. We just talk a lot off I'm the air. I'm having deja vu from like two years ago. <laughs> That's right. Deja vu. Roy, you know a song called Deja Vu? Uh, deja vu. We're watching <laughs> you. Oh, that's Private Eyes. No, I don't know it. <laughs> it's okay, Roy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I know every other song in the world, though. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Except Deja Vu. Every single song in the world. Pretty much, yeah. All chalk right. Dust Torture. Go ahead. Play some Chalk Dust Torture. Play uh, Fish. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you got it. Well, you stopped playing well, after like exactly thought, one I, I, note. I thought you were going to accompany me. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Come on. Me and you. I'm not going to sing the guitar part. I'm going to sing the vocals. <laughs> I can't just accompany myself. Oh, Jesus Christ, Eric. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? Shono, do we have that uh, Francesa thing? We do. All right. From Rutgers Kev on Twitter, he um, gave us this little scoop uh, where John Calipari um, called up Mike Francesa's show because Francesa was talking a little. Of course, John Calipari, the Kentucky coach who won the national championship two years ago, 
and has had a successful basketball coaching career. Um, and he's the believer in the one and done scenario. He gets the yeah. great freshman. They leave for the pros almost the, the fucking you know two months later after the the goddamn uh, March Madness. So here is Calipari weirdly calling up Frances's show, not on the hotline, calling his show up as a caller on the regular line. It's a very weird piece of audio. Go ahead, Sean. O. Cal sends me a message, says, can't coach. I didn't say Cal can't coach. What I said is he's not a great ex. This is Cal sending me a message, can't coach. I didn't say he couldn't coach. I said Cal is a great recruiter, a master motivator. He's not a classic X's and O's guy. There are better X's and O's guys. Majerus, as an example, was a better Pause X's and O's second. guy than Pause Cal. for a second. Cal, though, gets guys to play together and play hard better than anybody. First of all, Mike Francesa loves Rick Majerus, who died, by the way. But the only reason why he loves him is because he was also a hugely fat man. And when Rick Majerus would come to New York, they would both go out to a steakhouse. Oh, they were friends. Secondly, Mike Francesa, how the fuck are you qualified to tell if a coach is good at X's nose? Are you in the goddamn huddle? There's one thing he knows. It's basketball. <laughs> he knows jack and shit. About basketball. He's a decent football guy. I give him a little credit with breaking down football. That's, that's Mike Frances' f- sweet spot. But to be saying uh, he's not a great X's and O's guy, how the fuck do you know? What? Stop it. Go ahead, Sean. Takes talented kids, and he gets them to play defense. He gets them to play unselfishly, which is a absolute like gift to be to able me. to do that. Is he the greatest X's and O's guy? No. There are better tacticians, but he's a great motivator, great recruiter. There's Keep a lot that goes yourself. in. There's more than one facet to being a top coach. John in Kentucky, what's up, John? <laughs> well, I think the guy's a great this coach. This is Cal In X and O's, he would co- this is John Calipari. I know it is. Hey, listen, I can't coach. I didn't see. see what are you saying how I can't sensitive coach? Why you, you, you call me on? I'm sitting there next to you. Come back on. Oh. <laughs> Come back up. Fake laugh. How about you calling me? I did. You see, you know what you're like? You're like a caller who doesn't listen, okay? Or a listener. Uh, I, listen, I didn't say. I, wait a second. Back at you, you no, think. I didn't say this. Let me. Can I talk now? Go what ahead, I talk. said Jesus. to the guy was I said, you are a master recruiter, which you are, a master motivator. And you said he's not And I said, you're X's not a great X's and O's coach, which you're well, not. that's basically saying I can't coach. How that's do we not, wait a second. Is there, there one, is there one facet? Mirrors. You know oh. what they call me? The magician. Cal the magician. Wait a second. <laughs> New team. Wait a second. Nope, are there better X's and O's guys than you? You think I believe that? Yes. I will pass the de- lie detector test and say no. Yeah, no, you won't. About? No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. Are you a better motivator? Is there a better Cal motivator Pari. than you? I don't have any idea. I'm just trying to do what I do. And I, I don't understand compare that. myself to but, anybody. But listen, I understand that. But there's more than one. And and uh, thanks for the call because you're gone. <laughs> but uh, the cat's actually Cal calling. Uh, All right, but that's it. Uh, I never said you couldn't call. He hung up on the guy. The guy just won a national championship. You never hang up on a magician. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna roll uh, roll with the punches a little bit. Bad luck. Um, yo, fucking. First of all, when you have someone who's won a national championship in the, in the very recent past. I don't know. You probably don't want to hang up on him. Don't, as a radio host, you enjoy getting guests, people calling in your show. Frances is so jaded. He, he hung up care. on Calipari. Yeah, he just doesn't care. A guy won a national championship. Really funny, Sadly, actually. Francesa made me a John Calipari fan, who I actually consider to be quite sleazy. But the fact that he called up Mike Francesa is, I, and he tried some weird yeah, fake, fake voice. voice was really what was weird. that in the beginning? Hi, this is John <laughs> from Kentucky. Fooling no one. The world's worst Kentucky accent. We just heard it right there. What the shit is the world coming to? John Calipari, you have a absolute free pass to come on this program anytime you want. You party with us, whatever. We, will, we don't care. We're not going to... Ha- no, we will blow pot smoke right in that fucking big head of yours, but we are not going to be hanging up on you, Cal. Coaches don't get drug tested, right? Fuck no. no. You know Calipari's hitting the fucking pot. Patino fucking drinks wine like it's going out of business. I saw him with a wine skin on the sideline. Oh, yeah. The old wine business. So, uh, Patino likes the wine so much he was fucking his mistress in a goddamn restaurant. And I wish that was a joke. (laughs) She then tried to blackmail him. And he had to go to the fucking feds. This is a true story. And said, yeah, look, I admit, I fucked this woman in a restaurant. 
but I ain't giving her money. She's trying to shake me down. She said, I'm going to expose you if you don't get, you know, give me this uh, certain amount of money. He went to the feds. That's how it all became public. So it's, it's something that I predict will happen to Roy Schaefer in the next six weeks. Because quite That's frankly, no he's boy. off the rails. No boy. This is the beginning. This, no. this is the gateway drug. He's going to be coming in next Tuesday or Wednesday. By the way, we are now officially moving back to Wednesdays, Sean. Official. I have to tell the listening audience. Official. So we are, uh, this will be our time Wednesdays at 7.30. Yeah. All right? Wednesdays. Roy, how long till you do a little crack, a little fucking, you know. You suck that glass dick? Hit the kibble. <laughs> well, we'll see. Next week, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Right? I'll, 11, I'll smoke crack with you. 11.30. Tonight? You gonna smoke crack at eleven thirty tonight? <laughs> I might. Then I'll <laughs> I'll <laughs> suck your dick for five dollars. Isn't that what the girl said to uh, Cuba Gooding in uh, fucking uh, what was that movie? Uh, boys to Men. Boy, boys in the Hood. Boys, boys, the men. <laughs> boys to Men. Oh my good. Boys. Did you smoke up before the show? <laughs> Motown Philly. That's what boys you're giving me. It was Boys to Men. I'm talking about the John Singleton <laughs> yes. masterpiece. Boys in the Hood. One of my favorite movies of all time. Doughboy. Poor Doughboy. When that fucking and when the football player got shot. Oh shit. Drinking that milk. No goddamn justice. Scratch offs. What did yeah. he ever do? You're shooting the football player? There's street justice. There's street justice. He's not in the gang. He's on his way to USC. Collateral damage, fuck dude. Fuck you. That's what he got hanging out with the wrong crowd. Ice Cube's going to fucking get you motherfuckers. Yeah, but then Ice... Davey Mac's going to be there laughing the whole time. I'm going to join Ice Cube's goddamn gang, too. I didn't like seeing the football player get shot. I did not like it. Well, then, if you, if you watch the end of the movie, you know, he got killed, too. Don't what? We? Yes. <laughs> Ice Cube? Like a week later, he got See killed. See you later, everyone. I'm out. Pepper? I guess we'll talk about, I don't know, bad game. <laughs> There's Dave humping the air. All right. I'm just kidding, Pep. I wouldn't leave. <laughs> Whatever. Just fucking around with you. This is all. Hey, Pepper, you said Eli Manning did a goddamn uh, <laughs> he fucking... Did a, he uh, did an AMA on Reddit. What is that again? Ask me anything. Am I the only person who doesn't go to Reddit in the Pro- world? You probably shouldn't go to Reddit. Why well, shouldn't? Probably not. Why not? It'll weird you out. Why? Why? What do they say over there? They say that Eli Manning is the man. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, re- going through his AMA. I believe that. Going through his AMA, he comes off as boring and weird as, as you would think he is. What did he say exactly? He, he, just, he was just giving like, non-answers and just being really stiff. And, oh, he didn't. And ner- he wasn't nerdy. Good. <laughs> Did he just say that a lot? <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. I know my brother Python throws the football, and my dad threw a football, and now I throw a football. My brother with the graham cracker neck, Cooper, oh, Cooper. does not throw a football. Because they said one hit, and he'll be like Christopher Rave. All right, here's a couple of things from the AMA. Like Lieutenant Dan, only my brother Cooper wouldn't get new legs. You got new legs, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Eli, it's have called, you ever been starstruck? It's called prosthetic limbs, you fucking asshole. I asked K-Fed for a picture one time. That's the only person I've ever asked for a picture, Kevin Federline. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or not. <laughs> I hope it's not. I hope he asked Kevin Federline for a goddamn other. Hey, hey, Kevin, I love your work. Who is Kevin Federline? He's the guy who banged Britney Spears? Yeah, he was the guy, yeah, who, who you know. I loved your goddamn work. Knocked her up a couple times. As Britney Spears is impregnator. <laughs> How it, else would he know this douche? Eli, after you throw an interception, do you want to punch the guy who caught it, or do you mostly just feel sad? I don't think I've ever thrown an interception. <laughs> <laughs> he probably believes that. I don't think these are jokes. He doesn't have a memory. No, he's all he's, he's, out. he's very memento-ish. What else? Is Tom Brady really that dreamy? Like, seriously. He's pretty good looking. <laughs> He's pretty hot. I, if I had to, <laughs> I'd give him a hand job on 53rd and 3rd for $7. <laughs> or a package of Skittles, whichever come first. Whichever come first. I'm Eli Manning. Good night, everybody. I wish Eli had his own talk show. When's America going to wake up? Give this guy... I mean, why Stephen Colbert? Let's have goddamn Eli take over for Letterman. What? Who does Eli say he had the best uh, chemistry with, receiver-wise? Plax. Plax is the first person he mentions. What? Why? Who knows his Giants football? I did not see this. Then Steve Smith and Victor Cruz, he said. He also mentioned them. He loved Steve Smith. The Giants should never let Steve Smith walk. How far can you punt a football? 32 yards. (laughs) He knows the exact yardage. All right. He's thorough. 
So he didn't take this seriously at all. What was your first thought when you saw Tyree catch that ball? Did he really catch it? <laughs> Did he? Did he catch the football? I know the referee said he caught it, but did he caught it? Did he caught it? Tom Coughlin, did he caught it? He did caught it. Go ahead. Hey, Eli, my question is, who would win an arm wrestling contest? You or Peyton? Definitely me, Eli says. Oh, so he's going to give it to Peyton. Peyton would crush Eli, by You the think way. he is that yeah. bum neck, though? Peyton's bigger than Eli. If you see those two guys side by side, Peyton Manning's a monster. He's the older brother, too. How He's far? Dude. How far can That's Eli right. Manning, according to himself, throw an uncontested ball in perfect weather? Uh, 70 yards. 65 to 70 yards. Davey Mac. It's just, it's, just, it's just uncanny. Some people know sports. Some people are Roy Schaefer. What do you want? Thanks for giving yourself a stinger. <laughs> I appreciate it. It was an insult at your expense, but you still stung it. I did, yeah. That's a team player right there. We know you occasionally... <laughs> We know you occasionally prank and joke around with your teammates. Who's pulled the best prank on you and what'd they do? Jeff Fiegel's removed all the air out of my tires when you were at training camp. Left and then my car crashed <laughs> in the Hudson River. My fiance died. She was seven months pregnant. It was a whole goddamn Chappaquiddick Ted Kennedy situation. Lo and behold, it made me not run for president in 1972. Go ahead, Ted Kennedy. <laughs> You never heard of Chappaquiddick? Uh, Read your goddamn history book, fucking Molly Brain. You're a Molly Brain, right? Do you know what Chappaquiddick is? What? You all know Chappaquiddick? What's For real? Oh, my Lord. It's like a cool Sorry, I'm not as micked out as you and obsessed with the Kennedy. Do you guys know what Chappaquiddick is? I do. He was indicted for murder. No, of, Roy's right. Of a oh, woman Ted Kennedy, that he ran was like his drunk. assistant or whatever. He's on a bridge yeah, in Chappaquiddick. The car yeah. went off. He was supposedly messed up. Yeah. She drowns. Yeah. He gets out of the fucking thing alive. He disappeared, right? And he was they destroyed. He, they were thinking about him in 72. For the Democratic nomination, and it destroyed his chances. It really should destroy his chances for everything else after that. He shouldn't even. Have been <laughs> well, it was a blessing in disguise. He would have gotten a fucking bullet in the head had he goddamn you know went on with that nomination. In my opinion, who really? wouldn't have taken out? Oh come on! Really? Think he would have survived that shit? Oh yeah. Right, Sean O'Barry, you're Irish. Yeah, boy. After the first two guys yeah. went down, you know they probably. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> That was just muttering crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, he's poured himself a beer, you know, like all good engineers do. Shut up. Yeah. Do you like the Kennedys? Huh? Love them. Yeah. I even like uh, that uh, Michael Skakel character oh. who apparently raped like nine chicks in the fucking Hamptons. <laughs> Does Eli prefer Backstreet or NSYNC? I liked his foreign policy. What do you want me to say? Backstreet um, or NSYNC? What's Eli prefer? Uh, Backstreet or what? NSYNC. Well, because you said Kevin Federline, Britney Spears. I'm going to say NSYNC. NSYNC for sure. You Matt. should hang out with Eli. Davey Matt. I've said this before. Eli, we would get along swimmingly, you fucking mushhead. God damn. Come over to the Dave Man's house. Hit the smoke zone. Watch Braveheart with me. Let's go. That's what we're doing tonight, <laughs> by the way. In case anyone wants to know, Thought I will be live watching tweeting. Watching Taxi Driver. Yeah. I'll be watching Taxi Driver and then Braveheart. And then, if we're lucky, 2001 Space Odyssey at about 3 in the morning. Sure. I don't like to sleep anymore. I have bad dreams, Peppy Ham. Bad dreams of me about? fingering your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty terrible nightmare. That's right, I said it. Pepper, <laughs> your favorite NASCAR driver, Tony Stewart. I love Tony Stewart. Of course you do. He's a murderer. <laughs> he killed a guy with a car. Yeah, it was a mistake. That guy ran towards his oncoming car. Right? <laughs> and he swerved his car to run over a guy on no, the track. he was trying to get out of the way. He... Tony Stewart's car, which was going straight until it took a beeline right for the guy. Well, why was the guy running towards a speeding car? The guy was at fault. Absolutely. And so was Tony Stewart for then moving his vehicle towards the human being. And a two-ton car at a high velocity will usually kill someone. Tony Stewart, is, there's, he did nothing wrong. And he should have been driving the next day. Too. That's why he's the pepper of fucking NASCAR right there. I agree, I agree with pepper. Do you even have a driver's license? Don't lie to us. Nope. So, but I have driven what, drunk before. Uh, <laughs> what do you use for an ID? A New York State license, like a state ID. Oh, they they give those? I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 
That, that shit don't fly in New Jersey, pal. <laughs> I'm sure there is one like that in New Jersey. You just don't know. There about ain't no it. shit. I got to re- renew my license. I got a fucking thing in the DMV. <laughs> so did I. Today. Said, Davey Mack, you got to renew your license. <laughs> you know? You know what I did? I fucking ripped it up and pissed on it. <laughs> Say, come on after me. I'm like, Scarface. <laughs> and by the way, that means I will get pulled over tonight <laughs> and thrown in prison. <laughs> It's not that bad. No, I know. I've been there. It's jail, not prison. Yeah, when you go to jail, it's like, you know. Except for the, the, the fucking uh, guy screaming for hot dogs. My first arrest when I was 18, there was uh, some guy in the jail cell next to me, and he constantly was going like this. I want hot dogs! That's a true story. It freaked me the fuck out. 18-year-old kid in jail, and he's next to the, his, his cellmate is some fucking guy screaming about wanting hot dogs. I'm like, Davey Mac ain't built for this shit. No. Uh, we have a live read, ladies and gentlemen. It's from FanDuel. This is one of our favorite sponsors. This is it. Finally. It's opening weekend of the NFL regular season. Last chance to join FanDuel before opening weekend. Millions of people play fantasy football, but you can win real cash this weekend playing fantasy football with your buddies. You can do it with FanDuel.com. In fact, Joe Watson from New York turned a $50 deposit into over $30,000 in two weeks playing fantasy football on FanDuel last season. That's right. Join him and the hundreds of thousands of users who have already won money, Pepper. FanDuel.com is the leader in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. The money's real. Entry fees start just $1, and there's no season-long commitment. Fandle. No upfront fees. Fandle. Play each week or whenever you want. It's all up to you. Set a new lineup each week and win every week Fandle. if you're good enough. FanDuel's paying out more than $10 million Fandle. every single week this NFL oh, season. But you have to play to win, so sign up today. Fandle. Go to FanDuel.com and click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Use the code DMS. DMS? And sign up now. And there's a new user special. What? FanDuel will match you dollar for dollar on your first deposit up to $200. I'm in. That's up to $200 for free. What? Offer is only good for the first 50 people that use the code DMS. DMS. Don't forget to use the code DMS. DMS. FanDuel.com, where every week's a new season. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Sign up. Did you spell that right? Today. FanDuel.com. Did you spell that right, Slurry? <laughs> FanDuel.com. Hey, look, I'm not going to get criticized over the live reads when you're yelling shit over what I'm trying to tell Subliminal them Subliminal messaging. No, it's just confusing. You people. realize I'm a marketing expert, right? No, I don't, and I know you're not. I am a marketing expert, okay? Thank you. Eric, right? Thanks, Eric. Don't, don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Hey, the Yankees suck big, huge elephant the, dicks, huh? I turning it around. Derek Jeter's hitting 188 in his last 20 games, and they can't put him down the lineup because this is his last month in the major leagues. Just do it to get him in the playoffs. They're having a farewell tour, and starting, I believe, on September 7th, I think I have a story right here somewhere. Starting on September 7th, uh, the team will wear a patch of Derek Jeter's final season logo on all player and hats uniforms from September 7th through the end of the year. Which is very odd because he's still alive. What they should do. <laughs> Usually you reserve that for the dead Yankees. They should just to be honest. glue a uh, Jeter bobbleheads onto their batting helmets. <laughs> 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 this is for you, Jeets. <laughs> on, top of their, on the top of their hats. Yeah. A little Jeet on top of the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. A little Jeet head. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the coolest thing of all time. I would buy three of those helmets tomorrow. Let's just I would drive them. here in my fucking Jeter helmet helmet. <laughs> It would be the best day of my life. You think? Um, I would get one. I think it's a little bit weird. For, you're the guy's teammate. Imagine feeling like being Mark Teixeira and being like, here's my patch of you. <laughs> Usually they have like, you know, Joe DiMaggio or when, you know, someone passes away. In 95, Mickey Mantle, they had little sevens on their yeah. thing because he died. Him and that fucking shitty kidney of his and the liver and the liver. thing, the so liver, whatever it was. So this is unorthodox as far as... Uh, it's usually other. unorthodox. Yeah. You don't do this. They do this with Mariano, did they? No, Mariano went out much classier. Good point. Mariano also had a good year, for Christ's sakes. Yeah. Jeter, 188. He's heading 261. Well, Jeter, you know, he knew it was time. It's time to put it down. He, he's, he's, 
He was a three, I believe, three twelve career hitter going into the season. He's going to drop that average. And one of speaking of Mickey Mantle's greatest re- regrets was that his last two years, his average plummeted so hard that he ended up his career average ended up below three hundred. He ended up drinking himself to death. Well, he did. He loved the booze. Let's be honest. You watched an HBO documentary. That's all he did. Apparently, apparently he didn't play baseball. According to that no, HBO he just, doc, he drank and made his son drink with him. I found that well, that that one to be very depressing. Yeah, it was downer. Even when Ed Harris did some weird, creepy poem, which uh, he dedicated to Mickey Mantle. Do you remember that in the no, movie? No. Ed Harris, the actor, wrote a poem for Eli Manning when he was ten, and they had him recite the poem in this doc on Mickey Mantle, and it was really like uh, it was a little gay. He was like uh, his big forearms. Are so strong and the blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm Ed Harris and I'd like to fuck Mickey. It didn't even rhyme, apparently, Pep. Maybe it was like a haiku. Most, right? Most poems don't rhyme. Oh, yeah? My poems rhyme all the time, baby. Oh, yeah? yeah, man. You're a good poet. My I name saw is. saw you on Def Comedy Jam or whatever. Def, Def Poetry, Comedy Jam, yeah. Poetry, I was Poetry, on that. Def Poetry Jam. Poetry, <laughs> Poetry Jam. Def Poetry Jam. <laughs> we both can't talk. I was on Def. I was on Def. No, I can't talk. I, I, I intentionally said that. I was on Def Poetry Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you ever see white people walk over a river? Boo. Yeah. That's all I got. See you later, assholes. <laughs> and then uh, the guy came with the, with the hook. And the clown, the the clown came that's with the hook. Sad man. That's Sandman. Oh, Apollo. that's what Sandman. that is? Sandman, yeah. The Sandman? Yeah. Exit light. Mariano, bring it back. tonight. Take my hand. Off the nibble, nibble, and boom. Made it out. Come on, Roy. Come on, Pep. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Say your prayer, smoke that pot. Roy Shaver is fuck, fucked up in the head. Pepper West, welcome to Molly every night. Sean O'Berry's most therapy. Come on out. Sleep with what I open. You know the NFL stuff. Stephen Ross 69. <laughs> Exit light. Why don't we talk about that? And tonight. Come on. Take my hand. Off to never, never let go. Metallica. Tomorrow night, the NFL starts. Who's playing in the game, Pepe? Packers at Seahawks. Who you got? Uh, Seahawks are minus six. Do we have that NFL song anymore, Sean? Bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 bum. Um, because uh, I'll give my prediction right now since Pepper's asking for it. You I told you this last week it up. during our fantasy football segment because you told me... That Peyton Manning's going to have a good year on fantasy football. I disagree. I think there's nowhere else for Peyton to do but come down. Plus, I believe well, in the Super yes, Bowl hangover. But even if he comes down, he's still going to have a good year. But I believe Aaron Rodgers has a lot to prove. He wants to once again be the MVP of the league, throw these numbers, and it starts tomorrow night as the Green Bay Packers defeat your Seattle Seahawks 31 31- 24. Pepe Hamburger, who do you have in the game? Give me the Seahawks. They're going to cover. It's going to be Seahawks 28, Packers 14. Sean O'Barry? Seahawks, Hawks 14, <laughs> Packers 6. And this is a mistake, but Roy Schaefer? Uh, Seahawks, of course. Yeah. 14 to 3. 14 3. Thank you. That was actually a real score. That was a real score for once. Yeah. I appreciate it. Maybe you should smoke pot all the time. At least when we do our football predictions. Fair enough. Not that you did, though. You didn't. This is just a bit. Sports therapist. I want your prediction right now. Here you go. I'm going to go with uh, Pepper's pick. And? Exactly what he said. (laughs) (laughs) Seahawks, 28. 14. Packers, 14. Packers, 14. 14. No one has any memory anymore. This, folks, is a commercial why you should not be doing marijuana. I do got to tell you real quick that about... That was a real commercial. Let me tell you something about uh, yet another sponsor. We're just raking it in, my friends. It's Legal Zoom. I'm going to tell you something. When you're planning for your future, you do financial planning. You get insurance, but to get real peace of mind, you've got to make sure your family and finances are legally protected, Pepper. Pepper? So... so- Where do you turn for legal help you can trust? 
LegalZoom.com. Are you sure you didn't smoke in For over 13 years, they've been helping Americans get personalized wills, powers of attorney, and living trusts. LegalZoom also helps file LLCs, S-corporations, and more to protect you against personal liability. The company started by some of the best legal minds in the country, and they make it painless for you to get the legal protection you need. Have questions? You can always reach out to hey, someone at LegalZoom, and they'll me. talk you through the process. Yes, sir. They will talk you through the process. You can get legal help through independent attorneys and self-help services at your direction, but they're not a law firm. For special savings, be sure to enter the code MAC, M-A-C, in the referral box at checkout. Go to LegalZoom.com today to protect your business and take control of your family's future. Legal Zoom. Stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, oh, oh. Stand. stand by me. Oh, yeah. Stand. Stand by me. I was just letting it drop for a long time just to see if I could mess up Roy. I couldn't, though. He's sharp as a dagger tonight. Did you notice that? <laughs> Do you notice how on point he is? No. <laughs> um, hey, uh, is Clayton Kershaw the best pitcher since Sandy Koufax? 100% yes. This guy is starting to put up ridiculous, dare I say, retarded numbers. <laughs> don't, and I mean that in like a that. Down Syndrome way. That's bad. He's putting up Down Syndrome numbers. He's 17-3 uh, and three at this point Nasty. with a major league leading ERA of 1.70. 1.7. Can we safely say the steroid era is gone? Can we safely say that? No, we can't. I'm sure there's still guys a little juiced you up. You think so? Yeah, that's Melky, be. I guess, was uh, juiced up uh, a couple Jeter. years ago. Jeter. Jeter. By the way, this is... The, Tanaka. The, the thing about Derek Jeter David is... Price. This David Price. David Price. Derek Jeter is w the way... A 40-year-old in baseball should look, right? And this is how you know Jeter didn't do steroids or any kind of PEDs. He's not 40. He's like 37. Uh, no, 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 no. He's older than that, pal. He's older. <laughs> He's older than that. He came into the bigs when he was 22. He's played 19 years. He's either 39 or he's going to be 40 years old. How old is he, Peppy Ham? He's 40 years old. <laughs> Come on. I was close. Come on. You're going to fucking talk to Mr. Yankee? Huh? Is that what you're fucking going to do? I'm sorry. Well, thanks for doing a fun little New York accent. I'm I like sorry, that. Charlie. <laughs> you took my thumb. But my point is, this is the way uh, you know most aging veterans. Mike Schmidt, one of the great players of all time, the greatest third baseman ever. He was hitting two twelve his last year. Like a loser. Like an asshole. Like a and then he cried over the hill. And then bump. remember, he cried. My bad knees. <laughs> a guy with <laughs> two bad knees gonna make it to the fills. Shut up, Mike! The only thing I like about Mike Schmidt is in the beginning of Pink Floyd's The Wall, the movie, for some reason there was a Mike Schmidt 7-Up billboard there <laughs> during the riot scene. And I'm like, I thought this shit was supposed to be in England. <laughs> Pretty sure they don't like baseball over no, there. He, Schmidt, though, for some reason, was huge over there. <laughs> yeah, the English people liked Mike Schmidt, yeah. of all people. Yeah. yeah, that was like a little detail that the English director, Alan Parker, probably should have gotten correct. That there aren't any Seven Up billboards with Mike Schmidt why don't you, in London. Why don't you direct a rock opera and then we'll criticize? I that. will, I will. I'm gonna fucking uh, direct that Queen and I at the opera. It's coming to the theaters near you. you ca I can't wait to show you the Bohemian Rhapsody part. Holy shit, dude! It's good. You're gonna freak the fuck out. Well, yeah, it's good. I got. I'm gonna put naked pictures of you up on there. Perfect. I installed a camera in your shower. Great. I'm gonna have pictures of you taking your umbrellas off slowly. Good. We're done here. <laughs> Not yet. I want to think about you. Please just hit the music. Taking your shorts off. For the love of God. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. I have to say this. Is Richie Incognito back? I don't know. I know that people were talking to him. They said the Bucks are looking at him. Yeah. And here's the thing. Remember how big that story was? I'm actually having difficulty remembering what he said. He, did he use the N-word? I think he cut a journalist's head off in <laughs> <laughs> So So he's in uh, part of ISIS? He's part of ISIS, <laughs> as far as I can remember. Um, no, didn't he? What was it? Was it an anti-gay or was it he, bu he, bullied, he bullied the, a player until he went to a psych ward. I remember the bullying, but I, re I forget if it was racial bullying or homophobic it was bullying. It was like it was going to bang his mom. He was gotcha. dropping M-bombs. He's a maniac. All right. You know. Let's end it.
Pepper says it. Plus, we have an episode of The Watchers we're recording next. That's our movie show that we do once a month. And it's going to kick the ass. Download it for free on iTunes. Hey, Davey Mac Sports Program. My name is Isad Dave. They call him Peppa Stan. They call him Sean Barrett. They call him Roy Shea. Special thanks to Eric Z and the sports therapist. Good night, everybody.